Nights at 7.30 here on Channel 5. Action News 5 with Charlie Gaddy, Nick Pond, and Bob DeBertleben. Now with the news, Charlie Gaddy. In the news tonight, bands of gunmen identified as Hanafi Muslims are holding more than 100 hostages at three buildings in Washington, D.C. The gunmen have seized the headquarters of the B'nai B'rith Jewish Organization, a Muslim religious center, and Washington City Hall. A radio newsman was killed in the City Hall takeover, and at least 11 persons were injured. The invaders demanded and got cancellations of the premiere of a new movie about the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Later in this newscast, we hope to bring you updated reports as they develop in Washington. This morning, the gunman who was holding a police captain hostage in Warrensville Heights, Ohio, surrendered after President Carter promised to talk with him by phone. Throughout the night, policemen had been talking with gunman Corey Moore. They felt they were close to coaxing him out. But it took a presidential news conference to put an end to the two-day siege. Mr. Carter talked about Moore on national television. Afterward, Moore surrendered, as he had promised. He told reporters there was nothing in particular that had set him off. He simply saw himself as a crusader for black people, and he has no regrets. I felt that I was godly enough where I had the conscience of a godly type person. The courage to take on the whole world. And that's why uh, it, it happened. Police Captain Leo Keglovic was Moore's hostage for 44 hours. He was released unharmed. Moore now faces kidnapping charges. If convicted, he faces up to 50 years in prison. Julie Eckert, ABC News, Warrensville Heights, Ohio. Live Army ammunition is still a critical problem at the Fort Bragg area tonight. A second youngster is listed in satisfactory condition at a Fayetteville hospital after he was injured by an exploding shell. Robert Warren reports that the boy's brother was also hurt. The second explosion in as many days occurred on the Blanks Bridge Road south of Hope Mills in Cumberland County. The ammunition that exploded is the same type of 40 millimeter shell that seriously injured a 16 year old boy on Monday. The rounds are duds that have been fired from an Army M79 grenade launcher, but did not explode on impact. 13-year-old Ricky Bryant received severe injuries to the mouth, nose, and face when he threw one of the shells onto the asphalt road. His brother, 17-year-old Ronald Cummings, standing about 15 feet from the explosion, was also hit. Ronald received first aid treatment on the scene. The Cumberland County Sheriff's Department secured the area and called in the fire department while Army explosive experts detonated five 40-millimeter shells at the scene. Later Tuesday night, an 18-year-old boy in the Aaron Hill subdivision of Cumberland County reported finding a two-foot-long 106-millimeter shell near 71st High School. A similar type shell killed a Special Forces soldier about a year ago at Fort Bragg when he found the shell while walking through the woods. Robert Warren, Action News 5 in Cumberland County. Fort Bragg officials say tonight the explosives are picked up from the restricted impact area and carried off base by souvenir hunters. Well, uh, frankly, uh, I feel it's, uh, it's a mixture of uh, possibly some uh, personnel who want to pick up uh, souvenirs of, of the post here, unfortunately, and they picked the wrong thing. Uh, I don't think it's anything unique in Army history or uh, Fort Bragg, Bragg history, for that matter. Uh, it's something that uh, we kind of uh, continually uh, uh, are warned against uh, by our signs. Uh, we continually uh, post and update our signs. Uh, we've got quite an extensive maintenance program on that. Uh, we also uh, patrol the post quite extensively uh, through three various agencies. The Army says the off-limits impact area is 46 square miles in size and is impossible to completely secure. We're going to switch back to Washington, D.C. now for this late report on the hostages being held tonight in that city by the Hanafi Muslims. The three buildings were occupied within three hours, all incidents the responsibility of the Hanafi Muslims. The sect, on behalf of all Muslims, they say, is protesting a movie, Muhammad, Messenger of God, which opened in New York and, per their demand, was closed. 
And they want five men delivered to them, five men who were convicted of murdering seven Hanafis back in 1973. ABC's Roger Peterson is at Washington's City Hall. Two gunmen are still holding at least seven hostages in the corner of the district building. They walked onto the fifth floor with guns blazing this afternoon. Police say they killed at least one man, a young radio reporter, and wounded three others, including a city councilman. The gunmen won't tell police who they are or what they want. At the moment, it's a stalemate. With the gunmen and hostages at one end of a hallway, police at the other. Roger Peterson, ABC News in downtown Washington. Eleven people have been hurt here at B'nai B'rith, at least five of them seriously. Forty-three hostages have been released, but still many remain. Most estimates put it at 25 or 30, but some as high as 100. Some sort of negotiations are continuing, but police seem willing to wait it out. Let the gunman make the next move. Tim O'Brien, ABC News, at the B'nai B'rith building in northwest Washington. Now to Joe Templeton at the Islamic Center. Two gunmen here at the Islamic Center have released their first hostage, an 18-year-old girl. She's been taken down to police headquarters for questioning. There's no indication if any other hostages will be released soon. There's little light out here, and it's hard to see the building. There are lights in some windows. The street is pretty empty, except for police cars. It's believed some of the hostages are being held in a front room at the right side of the building. Police have been moving back and forth beneath that area, but they've been keeping a low profile. Joe Templeton, ABC News, outside the Islamic Center in Washington. Back home, a special grand jury investigating the Wilmington 10 case heard from Jay Stroud today, the former prosecutor who allegedly coached witnesses to lie. Don Griffin reports today's session was extensive. Looking confident, Stroud arrived at the federal building carrying a load of books. Books that I'm doing for legal research for a DA's conference I've got a lecture at tomorrow. Okay, then. Are you all prepared to testify today? Oh, yes. After chatting with us for a while, Stroud then went inside to testify. Cornered off on the eighth floor away from television cameras, Stroud spent several hours under intense questioning from U.S. attorneys. During one of several breaks, Stroud told reporters the questioning was all negative and at times even hostile. He said it was obvious their only goal was to show that there was a conspiracy to get Ben Chavis and prove the rights of the Wilmington 10 had been violated. Information he thought important, Stroud said, was being passed over. Much of the questioning centered around Stroud's contacts with Alan Hall and Jerome Mitchell, two former prosecution witnesses whose testimony helped convict the Wilmington 10. They have told the grand jury Stroud pressured them to lie. The 23-member grand jury, which is composed of two blacks, has almost completed its work. In a week or so, their report will go to Griffin Bell, the U.S. Attorney General. It will not be made public. If indictments are handed down against Stroud and maybe others, it will have to come from Bell's office. Don Griffin, Action News 5, The Federal Building. Despite some picketing, the North Carolina Symphony played to a packed house at Carnegie Hall tonight. That story and more when Action News continues. A new generation of Cadillacs. New body, new chassis and suspension, new engine. The 77 Cadillac DeVilles, the Fleetwood Brougham, a superb ride and room where it counts. Comfort, luxury, security, and a lot more. But you'll have to drive it to believe it. Cadillac! Cadillac! The next generation of luxury cars at these Cadillac dealers. Meet Lipton Tea Taster. Don Meredith? You betcha. You know what I enjoy tasting in the winter? Lipton iced tea. That's right. You need refreshment in the winter too, don't you? You drink other cold drinks. Why not iced tea? To me, the best tasting one is Lipton. And they say it's because this flow-through bag brings out all that dandy tasting tea blend. Try it. You won't be a Lipton iced tea taster. You'll be a Lipton iced tea lover. Kmart is your savings store. Give your home the fresh look. Kmart's best latex interior paint. It's washable, fast drying, easy to apply, and covers most surfaces in one coat. Tints to over 700 shades. Just $6.88 a gallon for flat finishes, $7.88 for low luster enamels. Save $3 a gallon through April 2nd. Kmart is the saving place. The North Carolina Symphony Orchestra debuted in Carnegie Hall in New York tonight and played to a packed and enthusiastic audience. About 40 
to 50 noisy demonstrators paraded outside the famous hall to protest the jailing of civil rights activists in North Carolina. The picketing was organized by the North Carolina and New York chapters of the Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression. Nick Pond has sports news and other scores in just a moment. Who's turn to do the dishes? It's his turn. I did them last night. We know whose turn. It's Maytag's turn. Now it's Maytag's turn to do your dishes. Yeah! Yes, it's Maytag's turn to get them clean. And it's your turn to get them Maytag. Hey, thanks. For dishes that sparkle and turn on clean, you can't get a better dishwashing machine, Maytag. A dependability. Get your Maytag dishwasher at Holmes Incorporated Fayetteville and Hobby Supply in Cary. I'm one of 3,000 international harvester dealers. And I handle a wide variety of IH lawn equipment. With attachments that'll handle all your major yard jobs. Like this IH Cub Cadet. This one machine can handle mowing, rototilling, leaf sweeping, snow plowing, shredding and grinding, and a lot more. They'll last for years. And naturally, I give you parts and service, pickup and delivery, and advice on the best way to take care of your property. See what your IH dealer can do for you. We're making two glasses of iced tea, using two bags of another leading tea to one Tetley tea bag. You might expect the other brand to become twice as dark as Tetley, but after four minutes, the difference is far less than you might have thought. Tetley has so much color and richness, one Tetley tea bag brews tea just about as deep and dark as two of the other tea bags. For big iced tea refreshment, Tetley is the one. I like those tiny little tea leaves in Tetley tea. The automotive world has always looked to Mercedes-Benz for ingenuity and innovation. And Mercedes-Benz has always produced automobiles that are unique, timeless, significant, legendary cars. Today's Mercedes-Benz automobiles are no exception. They're living proof that at Mercedes-Benz, the legend continues. We were talking, Nick and I were talking about how North Carolina is being represented all over the country tonight, Carnegie Hall, and then sports arenas all over the country. Charlie, I understand you heard some of the concert tonight. Yeah, while I was working, I had it on, and it was thrilling. Well, Charlie, as you said, there is a lot going on. North Carolina's kind of spread out a little bit thin this week. Sam Staggers and Don Whaley led the Fighting Camels of Campbell College into the quarterfinals of the National NAIA Basketball Tournament today with a convincing 7... 56 win over southwestern Oklahoma State. Campbell will meet Alcorn State of Mississippi at 6.15 tomorrow night in the quarterfinals. Today's Campbell game will be telecast on TV5 tomorrow night at 11.30. In another second round score of local interest tonight, number one ranked and top seeded Newberry of South Carolina was knocked off today by Central Washington. It was Newberry's first loss of the season after 36 straight wins. And one final NAIA note, Tonight at 11.30, TV5 will present a telecast of St. Augustine's loss last night to Illinois Wesleyan in the first round of the tournament. The finals of the Sun Belt Conference Tournament were played tonight in Charlotte. It's a surprising score. UNC Charlotte won, downing New Orleans. But look at this by just one point, 71 to 70. The 49ers are now 25 and 3. They go to Bloomington, Indiana for an NCAA first round meeting with Central Michigan on Sunday afternoon. There was more first-round action tonight in the National Invitational Tournament. We have three of four results to bring you. Virginia Tech over Georgetown. The score on that one was 83-79. to 79. Then in overtime, Villanova up at Norfolk, down to Old Dominion, 71-68. to 68. We have one final score besides what you see on the screen. Oregon over Oral Roberts by a score of 90-89. to 89. Another close one. We have no report on the Indiana State-Houston game being played tonight in Houston. The state high school basketball quarterfinals began tonight at various locations around the state. In games of local interest, we have the following scores. In the boys, 4A at Greensboro, Reedsville over Wadesboro, Broman, 60-46. Gastonia, Ashbrook, 64. Southview of Fayetteville, 47. In boys, 2A at Winston-Salem, Lewisburg over North Wilk, 64-59. Northampton over Ledford, 69-62. Boys, 1A at Garner, Clarkton over Ben Haven. Five, 
Gold Sand, 57, and Ruffin, 46. Tomorrow night at Greensboro in the 4A quarterfinals, Barton High of Wally will meet Hillside of Drum. The Cats reach the quarters with a big upset over the previously unbeaten Johnny last week, and yesterday, Tom Sutter, Cocker, Barton, Cook, and McClung, and that's that game on tomorrow's game in the Hillside. All right, I'm going to play the game now. We're going to say that Dominic is going to win his one shot. We're going to play the game now. 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 We're
but this depends on how much you have to itemize. For example, if you're single and made less than $10,500, it would pay you to itemize only deductions totaling more than $1,700. If not, take the standard deduction. The fourth way to figure your tax is often overlooked, income averaging. This is the most complicated but works best if your income increased substantially last year. With the averaging method, you use your income from the past four years to figure this year's tax. To be eligible, though, you must have provided 50% of your support during those four years. The state offers only one tax form, but you may still choose whether to take the standard deduction or to itemize the deductions. Often it pays to do your taxes more than one way to see which one is the cheapest for you. Tomorrow, some major differences in state and local taxes. Bob DeBartolaben checks the weather for us when Action News continues. Thanks. Just drop it, Charlie. I'll put it in the trunk. Vigoro. It's an all-purpose fertilizer. Yeah, for growing tomatoes, beans, and cucumbers. It's just a small bag. Oh, well, don't be embarrassed. You made the right choice. Vigoro is made by the same people who make fertilizer for thousands of farmers. <laughs> Save money when you grow your own. With Vigoro, you don't have to buy tomatoes, beans, and cucumbers from your brother-in-law. Uh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, don't give me Charlie. Uh, ch uh, ch uh, Charlie! Vigoro, formulas for the pros. Sleepyhead, mm. wake up. Oh, Maxine, I was out so late last night. A nice fresh cup of instant Maxwell House coffee will wake you up. You and your instant. Not just instant. Instant Maxwell House. I think my customers deserve the best. Mmm, so fresh tasting. It's these flavor buds. That's where the freshness starts. Hey, Susie, you're looking mighty fresh. <laughs> Thanks, Maxine. Thank Instant Maxwell House. Every cup tastes fresh, like your first cup in the morning. I'm Johnny Rutherford, and oil changes in this baby and the race cars I drive can run into money. I can't do much about that, but I can get you a $3 oil change refund at your CarQuest Auto Parts stores. Here's how. Buy five quarts of Valvoline and a Wix oil filter at your CarQuest store. Send me the sales slip, filter box top, and this coupon, and I'll send you the $3 refund. But hurry, but I'm still in the money. Washing dishes doesn't have to be a chore when you have a Kenmore. And right now, you can save a whopping $100 on Sears' best built-in dishwasher. Sale priced at only $259.95, this four-cycle machine with efficient pot and pan wash system features a power miser switch to let you save on electricity. Imagine only $259.95 for Sears' best Kenmore built-in dishwasher. And normal replacement installation is just $50. Buy Sears' finest dishwasher and save $100 this week at Sears. Can't we talk you out of that rainy weekend? Well, Anywhere in the world? Yes, well, let's don't say rainy. Let's say unsettled conditions. Uh, oh, what a cop-out. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? What a cop-out. <laughs> unsettled conditions. <laughs> that means I'm really not quite sure what's going to happen. Except it does appear now that <laughs> we may get some rain on the way in the form of scattered showers. And that's a shame, but that's the way it goes. Uh, in the meantime, just a beautiful day today. Another gorgeous day tomorrow. Friday, the precipitation is coming in. There are two frontal systems now sweeping across the country, and both of these could, could keep the scattered shower activity with us just about all weekend. If you want a good note for a change, the temperatures will be very mild. Speaking of mild, what a beautiful day today. My goodness, it was 68 degrees after a morning's low of 0 degrees Celsius or 32. Humidity now is 52%. The barometer 30.29. It's steady. Winds are southerly, about 8 miles an hour. It was a great day to be out tossing ball or whatever. It's uh, 44 now at Raleigh Durham or 7 degrees Celsius. Same down at Fayetteville on the Fahrenheit scale, 1 degree more, 45. The satellite picture shows a lot of cloud cover uh, up in the Dakotas, extending on down into Texas. And that's in conjunction with one of the frontal systems now coming across the uh, central part of the country. And it's a right good strong front, too. Uh, there are two low centers, one in Oklahoma and the other back in Utah. And there are the fronts now. And uh, very little precipitation, particularly associated with, with this one, but it's very strong. And uh, as it comes on in the state now, it'll be here sometime tomorrow night and Friday. In advance of that, we can expect some showers and thunderstorms. And then behind it, the other storm system that should keep what uh, we like to say are unsettled conditions just about all weekend. Our extremes today range from 10 degrees above zero at Holton, Maine, 86 at Palm Springs, California, and Gila Bend, Arizona. 
Well, let's take a look now at our forecast for five country. Clear, not as cold tonight. The low around 42. Our winds will be south southwesterly at 10, and very little chance of any rain. Tomorrow, partly cloudy. It'll be continued mild tomorrow. Again, the high around 70. Winds will be south southwesterly. They'll run about 10 to 20. They'll be right gusty tomorrow, and we'll up the precipitation about 10 percent. Then on Friday, increasing cloudiness as our front gets closer. Chance of showers, possible thunderstorms, and rather windy. Again, the high around 70. And then the extended outlook now Saturday through Monday calling for a chance of showers over the weekend. It'll be warm and then a little cooler by Monday. Charlie, we'll take another look at it tomorrow night and hopefully it might change by then. Good. Thank you, Bob. A disaster was averted early this morning near Fayetteville when a loaded gasoline tanker was hit by a train. The tractor-trailer truck had just left the Tining Texaco Company. The truck carried 8,500 gallons of gasoline. The driver of the truck did not stop at a crossing, and a seaboard coastline freight train crashed into the rear of the trailer. There were no injuries, but hundreds of gallons of gasoline poured out the tanker as it went on its side. The fuel had to be pumped out before the truck could be righted. Action News continues right after this. One day we'll have a beautiful car. Mm. One that'll endure. You asked for it, you got it. The Toyota Celica GT Liftback. Designed for beauty, then built to last. Built with a welded unitized body and Toyota's exacting craftsmanship. If you can find a better built small car than Toyota, buy it. You asked for it, you got it, Toyota. The Davises have had a baby, but they're not sending out any announcements. Most new parents are a little scared when they have a baby. The Davises are terrified. You see, there's only one thing wrong with the Davis baby. It's alive. It's alive. Starts Friday at the Ambassador in Raleigh, the South Hills Cinema 1 in Raleigh, also at the Center 2 in Durham, and the Forest Drive-In in Durham. Roman Meal makes great sandwiches. Great toast, too. Here's why. Roman Meal contains coarsely ground whole grain wheat and rye. That means the bran and the wheat and rye germ are retained. Toasting enhances the branny, nutty taste of the grains. The enriched flour and other nutritious ingredients give it a light, open texture. Roman Meal, the good tasting light brown bread. The Roman Meal Company thought you'd like to know. Let's shake them up together. Shake them up? What's that? It's a great new taste of ice cold Thunderbird with grapefruit juice. Just pour the juice in the bottle and... Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up. Thunderbird and grapefruit juice. Shake them up. That's a shake them up. Wow, totally together. Thunderbird and grapefruit juice. Shake them up. Now you get some. Thunderbird and grapefruit juice. Shake them up. Well, it won't be complete from three to five years, but a wilderness park for Cherry Hospital and O'Berry Center in Goldsboro has moved closer to reality. The North Carolina Knights of Columbus turned over a check for $6,700 yesterday. The money will help pay for a 55-acre project that includes trails for patients confined to wheelchairs. It's the first project of its kind ever developed for volunteer funds for a state institution, and when it's finished, patients will have a place to go for hiking, camping, and nature studies. Now for Nick Pond and Bob DeBartolet, and I'm Charlie Gaddy. Good night. This has been a presentation of Action News 5. Whether you need group insurance for a few people or quite a few people. Nationwide is on your side. Get a clean machine for less at Ward's. This clean machine is a giant 20-pound, two-speed washer. With 10 cycles, including permanent press, it's only $289.88. And our automatic electric dryer with five heat settings safely dries all fabrics, just $219.88. Ward's clean machines do dishes, too. This built-in five-cycle dishwasher saves you $50, cleans pots and pans beautifully, and it's now just $199.88. Ward's clean machines do it all for you for less.
You know, I like to tell it like it is. So when the Bonanza people ask me to tell you that now their steaks taste just as good as the ones in a fancy steak place, I said, hey, I got to try them before I say that. Well, they sent me these T-bones and sirloins. Well, one bite, and I said, they do taste just as good at almost half the price. Try them, huh? And if you don't agree with me that that's great tasting quality beef, you'll get your money back. Because at Bonanza, we want you to come back. Weekday mornings at 7 on Channel 5.